Hey guys, welcome back to some Star Citizen with me, Bloke LP. Today we're going to be taking a look at the RSI website. We're going to look at how to enlist, how to purchase your first game package, and what you should choose, um, and how to download the game. So let's get started. So open up your um, internet browser that you use. Up the top, type in robertspaceindustry.com, and it should bring you to this page here that we're on now. So once you're here, up the top you have a couple of drop-down menus to choose from. Hover over Star Citizen, don't click on it, just hover over it, go down and click on a list now. It should bring you through to this tab here. Here, fill in your credentials as needed, so your login, password, all the rest. And over on the right-hand side, put in put in a, um, a handle. So the handle is the name that people are going to know you as in-game. So when you're running around in the PU or playing Arena Command or anything like that, this is the name that people are going to see and know you as. Um, community moniker is the name that people are going to see on the forums or in uh, the Spectrum. So it can be the same as your handle or you can have it as anything else, whatever you like. You can have it as Joe Dirt if you like. Next up is a referral code. This is my referral code in there. Um, feel free to use that if you like. Um, it's also shown on the bottom of the screen. It will give you an extra 5,000 UEC credit to use in-game once the game goes live to start off with. Or you can use it at the moment in, if you go up the top of the page here to store, to Voyager Direct. And you'll be able to use it to purchase things like um, we weapons, new guns, you know, missiles for your ship that you purchase. Or small things like hangar flare, like posters, or fish to put in a fish tank, or money to go towards a fish tank or a buggy or something like that, if you wish to. But um, yeah, but if you hang on to it, that's fine too. It will be there when you the game goes live. It is separate to the Alpha UEC, which is being used in the PU today. Uh, Alpha UEC gets wiped every patch. It gets wiped. Um, where this UEC won't get wiped, it will just stay in my RSI here on your website unless you use it in the store here otherwise it'll be there until the game goes live once you've done that come down here enter your security code just to make sure you're not a bot and enlist now that then should bring you through to the downloads page once you're here if it didn't bring you directly here it's the same deal just go up to the drop down menu and once you've filled in the form and that it's register click on download but it should bring you straight through to this page once you're here you'll have a bit of a checklist it's gonna gonna highlight to tell you now that you've created an account tick done next thing is we're going to need a game package so we'll click on this here cruise through to the um, store we'll scroll down to where it says game packages make sure it says game packages because you can if you were to go to game packages up through here sorry up the very top in the store game packages it would actually bring you into, into a page where you have game packages standalone ships um, extras merchandise and all that sort of stuff so because you don't want to get a standalone ship otherwise you'll have a game uh, you'll have a ship but no game package you make sure you got to get a game package so come here to this over to the right view all game packages I can't stress enough to make sure it says game packages once you're in here um, you'll see a couple of different options as a lot of you have probably heard there's Star Citizen and there's another game called Squadron 42 which is the storyline to Star Citizen basically. Now let's check out a little sneak peek to that. Gentlemen, fire her up. Try to keep up. Um, you can pick that up on its own for forty-five dollars if you're not interested in Star Citizen, or you can pick up just Star Citizen on its own for forty-five dollars if you're not interested in the campaign. Um, if you'd like both of them for the price of a Star Citizen and Squadron 42 for an extra $15 onto one of these packs. You basically can have a combo pack with Star Citizen and Squadron 42. So these are your two base ships to start off with. There's actually three starter ships. 
which is the Mustang Alpha, the Aurora MR, and their third is meant to be the Reliant, but I think it's a bit overpriced for a starter ship because the Avengers Talker comes in cheaper. But yeah, they're your starter ships. This is all you need to play the game. You do not need to spend $75 on the game, $115 or $15,000 on the game. You do not need to spend that. All these ships that are in these packs are going to be obtainable in-game with in-game currency once the game goes live. So you do not need to purchase them now. Um, all you need to start the game is the Mustang or the Aurora. That's all you need. Um, when purchasing the game, Look at it as a pledge. Well, it is a pledge. Look at it as to think of how much can I afford to spend on this game, not how much do I have to buy what sh a particular ship. You know, Don't look at it and go, oh, I don't have $75 to buy that ship. Look at it as how much you can afford. If you can afford $45, well, pick up something in your range. If you can afford $100, pick up something in your range. You don't have to. You can go back to a $40 ship. You can pick up two $40 ships. Whatever you want to do. Um, just look at it to how much you can afford to pledge towards the development of the game. Not what ship you're going to get. I cannot stress that enough. Like I have a few fancy ships and that. But at the end of the day it's what can be pledged towards the game. I've won a lot of my stuff through streams. Um, I started off with just a... They don't have it anymore was the 325A, 325A Origin um, Jump Work ship. It was a $85 package, that's what I started off with, and I've won a lot of stuff through streams. So I've got a few extra ships now. But that's where I was happy to start, was at the $85 mark. Um, but yeah, all you need is this ship here, or if you'd like to have Squadron 42 and that, spend the extra $15 and get both games in one of these two packs. So... While I'm letting you think about what ship you want, we'll jump to a little video just on the uh, Consolidated Outland Mustang series. We are drawn towards the familiar. It is safe, reliable, but it can shackle us to the ordinary when in our souls we long to strike out to become something new. We started with a simple mantra. Dare to dream. Dare to challenge the expectations of what's come before. To embrace the unique, to put everything on the line. Only when we risk everything can we discover something truly special and redefine what it means to travel the stars. To explore the farthest reaches. To race on the cutting edge. Protect what you love. Say goodbye to the familiar. And welcome the brand new Mustang. Where risk meets reward. Now that you checked out the Mustang line, it's giving you something to think about. Let's shoot over to RSI's um, store and we'll have a look at the Aurora range. So I was looking at the new Aurora, but then I was thinking, maybe I should get something that looks a little classy. But then I was like, no, I need something that can pull some serious weight. Maybe I don't need all that cargo space. What about the Legionnaire? Now we're talking. How about some bigger guns? A little bigger. No, a little bigger. There you go. And maybe some rockets, too. Actually, I should probably upgrade the power plant. I did like the leather seats on that LX, though. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's see what this baby can do.
cargo. RSI's Aurora. There are many like it, but this one is yours. Now that you guys have checked out both the Mustang and the Aurora commercials, there is one other starter ship to consider. It is the Reliant Core. It was voted to be the next starter ship by all the citizens in a vote held by CIG uh, going back probably two or three years ago. Um, in my mind it is a little bit highly priced. When it was released on concept it was a 50, uh, $50 standalone ship. Um, and then when it come flight ready, they mumped it up to $70. So with a game package, that's why it's $85 with a game package. I feel that it probably should have come in between the Aurora and the uh, Avenger Stalker. Somewhere in between there, you know, I feel it would have been a good strong $65, $75 ship. Um, for a starter ship, that is. Like I realise the Stalker has a lot more heavily gun. Um, and that, but this has a fair bit more cargo too, having said that, but it is meant to be a starter ship, that's why I feel it probably belongs between the, the Stalker and the Aurora, somewhere in there, just, just for a starter ship. Having said that, uh, we'll slip through to a little video now, I'll give you a quick little sneak peek of the Reliant. So that was the Reliant Core. Now you've had a look through the main starter ships, I do advise you take a little bit of time and think about exactly what you want to start with and how much you're willing to pledge. Um, once you've done that and you've gone through the process of purchasing your ship, then proceed back to your main downloads page up the top here. Uh, go to Star Citizen and we'll go back to downloads once you've purchased your package. Now you're back here on your downloads page, you can see you've picked up your game package, you've got green ticks to go ahead. So and also your module access should be ticked for access to Crusader and Arena Commander and your own hangar, providing you picked up a game package. This is why it's crucial to make sure you get a game package. There is standalone ships in here that you can pick up on their own without game packages. So, that's, so if you want to pick up, like for instance, um, you wanted to pick up a your Aurora MR for instance you pick that up for forty five dollars as it was uh, with the game if you wanted to pick that up a second one of them up well you could pick up a standard loan version of it for thirty dollars so you're not paying for that that extra fifteen dollars for the game so like uh, for a good example is the Cutlass Black you would have saw in the games in um in the game packages section there it was $115 for a Cutlass Black if you were to pick that up standalone it would only be $100 but you do not have a copy of the game with that that's why it's crucial you pick up a game copy any other ships you'd like to pick up later you can pick up a standalone to save you that extra $15 per ship so you should have a green tick there now uh, it will give you a little list here of um, uh, software or your hardware required on your PC to run the game, your system specs. Um, I cannot stress enough to make sure you have eight gig or more. 
I originally had a 4 gig of RAM in this PC of mine. My PC's 7 year old, or 8, pushing on 8 year old. And I only had 4 gig of RAM in it. And it was struggling to actually run the game. I put 8 gig in it, it got better. I've upgraded to 16 gig now, and I run the game. I do have a 980, so it's I have upgraded my graphics card to a 980, and I'm running 16 gig of RAM and an 8 year old computer and I'm running the game on Ultra, it, it runs smooth, it's quite nice. So once you've done that, everything's up to spec, you've got yourself a game, you've enlisted to the game now, you've picked up your sec your extra 5000 UEC by using my referral code, which is listed down the bottom here, you're right to download the installer. So click on this here now, download the installer, it's going to pop up with a window, let's just save it, it's going to pop up down the bottom here, and once that's done, you'll be able to run the, run the launcher. Um, once you've run installed the launcher, it's going to set up a little patcher. It's going to go through its thing. Sorry about the noise. I'm just opening my launcher here now. It's going to do its thing. It's going to bring up the launcher. Um, I'll drag it on the screen here so you can see it. All you're going to have to do is just put in your login name, put in your password, and sign in. Every time you want to play the game, you're going to have to do this. Once you've done that, for the very first time, it's going to tell you that uh, there's going to be another little stage there where you'll click install or update or whatever, and it's going to install the whole 30 gig for you. Every time there's an update, you've at the moment, because they haven't got the Delta Patcher in, you have to download the whole entire game, every update, until the Delta Patcher is um, finished, which they're working pretty hard towards finishing, so we don't have to download 30 gig every time, it might only be, you know, 1 or 2 gig at max, so it'd be nice once they've done that, but every time you want to play the game just come in here, sign in and click on launch and it'll bring you to your main menu but anyway, that's it for today um, I will do another video on in the game menus, uh, leading you through there I'll uh, do another little video on standalone ships, upgrading ships, and um, just sort of navigating around the RSI web page. Righto guys, that's all for me. I'll uh, see you in the verse. Bye for now.